Good morning, it's Jim. It's Friday morning. It's a beautiful day outside, nice and sunny. Uh, wanted to do a little shout out to probably my youngest fan, Dalton in Osuya. Say, hey, buddy, thanks for tuning in to Jim Saws and stuff. All right, he's two years old. His dad was telling me that he uh, likes watching the channel, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I, uh, I'm just switching over some bar studs on this old, uh, oh, it's a 066 or 064. Um, anyways, so the older profile had this uh, longer shoulder that protruded. And on a lot of the newer bars, it doesn't seem to uh, work as good. So I'm switching them over. Oops. This is... Oh. Butterfingers this morning here. Um, so that's kind of the older profile. And then you can see where the nuts are tightened on. That's uh, where the newer bar is going to ride. Um, so I'm kind of halfway done this. I just figured I'd uh, do a little video and show some of you peoples how uh, you end up either uh, being able to remove these or tighten them up reinstall them um every once in a while you have one that loosens up a bit <clears throat> so uh the thing with it is basically what you're doing is you're tightening the two nuts against each other so you want that first one threaded all the way on um i'll maybe use a wrench for a bit more of this than i than i was just because uh it's a little bit noisy for you in YouTube land, but uh, let's see if we can get this one to line up here a little better. Okay, so what we want to do then is uh, get our wrench on the bottom one. No, oh, she's not going. I might have to pause this and come back. Just want to turn the camera on, eh? No, oh, it's not going to bite. These were in here with red Loctite. So just uh, warm it up a little bit here. I'm gonna melt my chain tensioner. But gotta soften the, soften the glue up. And then um, yeah, we're basically just trying to tighten the two nuts against themselves. But I also wanna make sure I don't uh, strip the threads off on that uh, bar stud here there she comes okay and then uh, of course it's gonna be a little bit a little bit heavy because she's now 100 degrees more that'd be in the Celsius scale right your fingers anyway okay and then I'm just gonna hit that with a little bit of uh, Break clean so that when I throw the Loctite on, it actually bonds there. And then uh, through magic television, got the other one that I just pulled out of the old part saw. And uh, I'll give it another shot of break clean as well. I think I hit it once already there, but I'll just make sure. Get rid of any of the residue that's on there. And uh, run a little bit of Loctite in here. <clears throat> 
Last one in Ugga Dugga. And then, loosen that off. Oh, oh she's trying to come over. It's caught on the shoulder there right now. Anyway, so that's uh, that's kind of how we're doing that. I might have to redo this and loosen that one off. But Okay, enjoy your Friday. I've got a tree to take down this afternoon, so that's going to be a slice too. Okay, take care. Okay, so hopefully that was uh, a fairly clear explanation. But basically, when we tighten these up, what we're trying to do is uh, leave this one here so it's not all the way bottomed out on the threads. So there's kind of where the threads end down quite a ways there. So just back her off like half a turn or so. And then you put your upper one on. Hold the uh, bottom one with the wrench and then tighten your okay so we're leaving that so it's not bottomed out like I said backed off and then tighten this one against the bottom one okay so this can come up a hair okay that allows you to tighten the entire bar stud in and then when you're ready to to loosen these off then again you just uh, loosen your top one separate and then the bottom one okay thanks for tuning in <laughs>